Okay, we are in Manfred Brundel from Fat List uh, Academy of Music in Germany. And uh, he is a uh, guest at the uh, concerto d'estate in Villa Gorilla in the Eton Gate sul Mare near Salerno. Hello, Manfred. Say to us something of this experience. You have made uh, in this morning uh, a seminar to a uh, student at the conservatoire in our great concert with your, your students. What about? Yes. Uh... The workshop was um, it was for us also a great experience because we were able to play our the music we were rehearsing and a lot of own compositions which are quite complicated and we wanted to explain and play those compositions for the students of the chess department in Salerno. So it was really a great experience because also my idea was that our students taught their own music. So they started to be their own teachers and taught their fellow students of Salerno, which I think made them also learn a lot about their own music. And the experience they had here in Salerno and in Vieti was just, uh, or it still is, just outstanding. I think we all feel great. We feel welcome. It's a warm feeling. It's an amazing surrounding, and it's really, uh, as far as the human, also the human aspect is concerned, really inspiring. So I think they will keep this, they will carry this back to wherever they go to, like to Australia or to to Tallinn and they'll be uh, yeah taking this good reputation out into the world. Okay. Thank you. And uh, it's the third time you come you are coming here in Salerno. And so you met um, Mediterranean jazz music and you also played uh, with our students and music from uh, Mina and from uh, other Italian situations. Yes. Some words about uh, this. Well, I, I this said meeting. it, I think, two years ago. I, I personally, I feel when I come to this area, I don't know why. It's, and I'm not just saying it. I feel, I feel really at home and listening to Mina's song, songs, uh, because I bought the record. Um, are also really nice and inspiring. So I mean, I, I, I feel that when I'm here, I can relax and I'm, I've got a completely different attitude towards, well, especially towards music. It's, a, it's an inspiring place, definitely. And I had the chance to play with uh, Italian players. I had Aldo, I had the, uh, the pleasure to, to meet Aldo Farias, Aldo Vigorito, and all the other players, yeah. and they're such great musicians that I think it's fantastic that there's such an exchange. I really do enjoy it. It's great. The last words: you are really a travel all over the world and uh, met uh, all styles, and yes. you had your music shows influences all over the world. And uh, what about jazz in general? Uh, jazz uh, mix different cultures and uh, shows this in the music, also in your music. Why? Which is in my, what is in my music? Yes. What do you think uh, that jazz is, uh, could be a vehicle of uh, showing uh, these influences in a composer? Yeah, definitely. I mean, nowadays everything is very fast because you have the internet. You have access to everything. There's a record art you, you have the muse, the written music day after, almost, you know. So it's become very fast, but still um, it's important to be, to meet people. <laughs> so it's, you can't do it through the internet. So if you travel a lot, if you meet people, if you go on tour with people, then um, this will actually influence your music. And it's, uh, I think uh, it's become more international nowadays and there's more networking exchange going on also between young musicians the students and that's really good but on the other hand I feel that you can still spot the, the typical soul 
and, and musical background of a certain area. And I mean, I'm sure this area has left a, a very definite mark on the music people here play in the area. And it's very light, it's, very, it's got its own pace. And uh, whenever I come here, in the beginning I feel very German and very accurate, but after a few hours, let's say after a day or two, yeah. I adapt and I can feel, um, I can smell and I can feel the intensity and uh, the passion, especially in this area. So, yeah, I hope that this relationship with Salerno, with Italy and Weimar will go on and uh, I think you did a great job inviting all those other schools from uh, Europe and I think you should carry on and thanks Francesco. I think you're really a, a great motor of all of this. Yes, and thank you to you, to you all. And see you soon another time here in Salerno. Okay. Thank you so much.